Hi there, Spazman from uh, Spazman Games here, and I uh, drill for terminal divers, and I'd like to uh, show off a little bit of level letter today. Um, I really wanted to show off uh, the logic gates and how they work. Uh, it's not so much for a tutorial, it's just kind of like, you know, what, what kind of features the logic gates have and uh, what you can do with them. So, I'm going to start off with something basic, just uh, how to open a door with a... Uh, the button. So let's make it like an empty room here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll place a door, a player spawn, and the uh, we'll put a little button here. And this little dialog box is uh, how long you want the button to be pressed for until it's unpressed, but we're going to leave it blank so it'll stay pressed uh, permanently. So don't mind that. Um, Right now, the button and the door don't do anything. They're uh, completely unlinked. Uh, button doesn't do anything. Door opens and closes all I want. So uh, let's uh, let's fix that. Let's attach the button to the door using logic mode. And what logic mode is? It darkens your screen and it highlights all all the objects in your level that are that have uh, logic being able to be applied to them. So. Red objects are like stuff that needs player input, like buttons and levers, and maybe like an enemy being destroyed and whatever. So uh, you want to create a logic gate from red objects and attach them to green objects, which are like output objects that were like doors and like force fields disappearing and you know secrets being revealed and stuff like that. So we'll I'll link the button to the door, and uh, now we can see what happens when we try to open the door. So the door is locked now because this button is not pressed. So we're going to press it and it's going to open up and now we can open and close it all we want. So uh, it's pretty pretty basic, pretty easy. You know, I think it's pretty, it'd be a pretty powerful tool, just one logic gate, just for like beginners and stuff like that and people who just want like really simple levels. So uh, we'll uh, move on here and uh, we'll try something a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's make a room here. We're gonna make a door that open that security officer Brown will open for us, which is the character in the game. Um, there are dialog boxes where it will activate logic gates when they are done talking. So basically, logic gates will are pretty flexible in where they're like it's sort of like programming where. It's um, it gets a binary result from whatever it's attached to. So like if it's on or off, if the button is pressed, the logic gate is on. If the button is not pressed, the logic gate is off. And anything attached on the other end of that logic gate will adjust its behavior accordingly, whether the logic gate is on or off. So let's make a, another empty room here with a door, a player spawn, and we're going to have Brown open the door when all the enemies in the room are destroyed. So let's add some of these buzzsaw dudes. And uh, we'll need an and logic gate and Brown's dialog box. So let's say I will open the door for you. So that's good. So we'll enter logic mode. And we will, we will attach these two enemies to the and gate. So when both these enemies are destroyed, the and gate will activate. And when the AND gate is activated, it will activate the dialog box. And uh, when objects are purple, you can attach and you can attach two. You can attach logic gates to and from them. Basically, it's like kind of hard to explain, but it's both input and output. Like you can do both instead of just one. So you've attached the enemies to the AND gate, AND gate to the dialog box, and the dialog box to the door. So when both enemies are destroyed. The uh, dialog box will activate and the door will open when he's done talking. So let's try it. And the door is open after he was done talking. So, so um, yeah, it's you can do stuff like that. It's a pretty powerful, powerful system, I think, and I think people will make some pretty neat stuff and I'm looking forward to it so
Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.